We didn't have any sort of expectations from China. I have no idea what to expect. I didn't expect this though. Because I didn't expect it that. I'm here and I like it, whereas I thought I might not like it before I got here. When you actually go there, it's just impressive. Incredibly, incredibly positive. We've had an amazing day. It is. This might be the most beautiful city I have ever been in. Today we're going to talk about the three things. The first one, the reasons why you should travel to China at least once in your life. The second one, what catch shocks you may see in China. The third one, that's the part. I will give you some advice about how to choose destinations in China because it's a big, big country, right? So let's start. Choosing China as a travel destination, of course, mainly because of its diversity in terms of history, culture, and the native beauty. In addition to this, there are several practical reasons that make it an attractive choice. I don't know you, when I'm planning my trip, safety is always my first consideration. But in China, you don't need to worry about that. I mean, of course, in most of the cities. I know a lot of people are complaining about the cameras in China. It's like everywhere cameras. It sounds like it's not free. But actually, on the other side, it really guarantees safety. Last time when I was in a Christmas market, I left my Pocky 3, my camera there. My Pocky 3 is still here. I found it back. I'm shooting with my Pocky 3 now. Oh, it's like, oh. I would just like to put that kind of uh, table. Now, almost one hour later, I would, when I came back, I, it's still there. And everyone, you just put their stuff there. You can see the cables, the computer. And I always work in a public place or in a restaurant. So when I went to bathroom, I just left all my laptop, my AirPods, my mic, my camera there. It never got a problem. So if you come to China, generally you don't need to worry about your safety and you can really just go out to enjoy nightlife or just walking around, go to bar, it's totally okay. Okay, now it's 10 p.m. in China, Shanghai. <sighs> Pretty busy, right? Food. That's the best part of a travel, right? In China, every region has their distinct dietary habits summarized into eight cuisines. I think the most famous one is strong cuisines because you like a hot spot or kung pao chicken. They're all strong cuisines. In terms of taste, generous people in the north prefer a stronger salty flavor, but those in the south prefer a lighter, slightly sweeter taste. Apart from the common flavor, some places are famous for their stinky dishes. You can find sticky tofu in every city, which is the Chinese food that all the foreigners I know can't handle. Some regions prefer noodles, some prefer rice, some love soups, and some enjoy meat. They are so different. Additionally, it is interesting that you all know about General Tao's chicken, we ourselves haven't tried it, and I've never seen it on the menu in the restaurant in China. Of course, there are now more and more Western restaurants as well. Some common chain restaurants like Shik Shack can be found in many big cities as well. So even if you want to try something different, it is not a big problem. If you travel to a big city, you definitely would have the chance to try all these cuisines because you can find all kinds of restaurants there. But this is a little tip because I know many of you can't eat spicy food, 
but in China, spicy food is really popular, and sometimes you can't recognize that it is very spicy from their names. So after you order food, you can tell the waiter or the waitress that I don't want spicy. If there is any spicy, please remove it. And in Chinese, you can say not spicy, 不要辣，不要辣，不要辣。The living cost in China, I think, is relatively lower. I can show you with things that you're familiar with. Okay, it cost me four yuan. That means like a half dollar. It's pretty cheap, right? For ten stops. Okay, we can check the price of a McDonald's here. Like this is beef burger set. Uh, it's ninety nine yuan, more than ten dollars. And if we just need beef one and uh, the coke, it just need like twenty nine point nine. It's like a four dollars. And I have eaten this Mac spicy chicken burger for all my childhood. I really like love this one, and but it is spicy. And some uh, see. And the beef one generally forty yuan is like a seven or eight dollars. Pretty cheap, right? I planned to record this video at home, but when I see the weather, I said no, I have to go out. So now I'm in Shanghai. I'm in the park, which is just right in the downtown. And this is lunchtime, so you can see a lot of people just behind me to relax and take a nap, enjoy the weather here. So let's talk about the cultural differences here. Living here, you literally cannot. Go out without your phone. It is not exaggerated to say that all the bills here can be paid through mobile phone. The last time I used cash,、mm, I honestly can't remember when was that. But you have to be aware of, as a foreigner, mobile payments may not that convenient for you. You can still use your credit card or cash, even though everyone uses mobile payment now. It is illegal to refuse cash, but there will be someone feel it's complicated to use cash because they have to give you a charge. You can directly tell them, no, refusing cash is illegal, and say like that. It is illegal. This. 是犯法的，这是犯法的，这是犯法的。I bet you definitely would be asked for a photo with them. If not, leave a message. 不可能，绝对不可能。Because for most of Chinese people, it is still rare to see foreigners on the street. So every time they see a foreigner, they will be like very surprised and curious about you. So if you are in this situation in the future in China, don't be surprised or worried because they really don't mean any harm to you. If you feel it's okay, you can just take a photo with them. If you feel it's not okay, just refuse it. So if you are walking on the street and you see some parents with kids, you may see this thing. 快去跟人家说话。Because English in China is very important, a lot of parents see this language as a key to open the door for the world. And also, foreign English teachers are very expensive in China, which means not every family can afford it. So, if they see a foreigner on the street, they will encourage their kids to talk to you to practice English. But most of the time, kids are too shy to talk. On the contrary, if you speak Chinese to us, even if you only know how to say 你好 you will still receive this expression,、oh. and you will be praised for speaking Chinese so well. 
Chinese people are always amazed and excited when foreigners can speak Chinese. So before coming here, you can learn a few simple Chinese sentences or phrases, and then try communicating with people here to see if it is true. It's really funny because you can drive a Chinese person crazy with just one sentence. Hey, how are you? <gasps> Even though I have been working with foreigners for many years. I still feel afraid of this question because I never know how to properly respond it. And another one is, I know it is very common for you to greet to strangers, like when you are in a restaurant after you order, the waiter or the waitress will say, "Have a nice day." But we don't have this kind of greetings. And also, for instance, after people sneeze. You will say like "God bless you" or Spanish "Salud," but we don't have this kind of expressions. But I believe if you need help here, you definitely will get help. If you have the chance to start a long conversation with a Chinese person, you may find there is a high chance you will be asked some rather personal questions like, "How old are you? What do you do? How much you earn? What do your parents do? Do you have a boyfriend? Are you married?" And also, I think we are not good at expanding topics, and often we are pretty direct. So, what do you do for a living? Well, I'm a teacher. Um. So, 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 what kind of teacher? And if you come here in summer, you will be very surprised about how Chinese people protect themselves from sunshine. Can you imagine? Sunscreen clothing products have generated a revenue of almost 60 billion Chinese yuan in Chinese market. I know it looks very exaggerated, but I think that's also why we age less easily. And at the same time, I don't know other person because I know a lot of girls are get tanned on purpose. But for me, if I got tanned, that would be a disaster because I don't look good in tanned color. I I will be like it, it seems like I'm I didn't clean my face well in the morning. You can really feel the culture of a house. We really talk about a house a lot, how to keep healthy, and the most famous one I think is drinking hot water. You know, in China, it is very important to drink hot. Feels like it. hot water can heal anything, especially my moms and、uh, older generations and.、Uh, My generation is too. We drink hot water. We drink hot milk, hot coffee, hot everything because we believe that will keep our stomach and even our the whole body healthy. It is very common for Chinese girl just drink hot things during their period. You know, it's very funny. Chinese couples always fight for this because every time the girl said, "Ah,、oh, I feel sick," the boy will always say, "Drink hot water." It feels like it just. Not really from their heart, so they always fight for this. It's very funny. These are just some of the cultural differences you might see in China. Of course, there are many more. So if you ever have the chance to really travel to China, I highly recommend you experience them in person. It is truly unique, and of course, we have the good parts or bad parts, or the parts you can't get used to, or you. Make you confused, but that's the fun of traveling to another regions or another cultures, right? In the next video, I will recommend several travel destinations I personally enjoy based on geographical location and style. Personally, I wouldn't recommend it, as well as rules for city walks. If you are interested, you can check it out. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.